Hey guys, so in the previous lesson we introduced standard form and what we said is that standard form, I didn't really give the formula in the previous lesson but I showed you what it would look like but the actual formula for standard form is ax plus by equals to c. So if you remember in the previous lesson I said that in standard form the x and the y must be together and then this number must be by itself. Another thing is that a must always be a positive number, and then a, b, and c must not be fractions. Okay, so they must not be fractions. So here they say find, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna find the standard form of the line and they've given us the slope and the y-intercept. So what's actually quite funny, well, I guess it's more funny to me, be, well, no, it's actually, I guess not funny at all, I mean, it's just maths we're doing here, but um, what's quite interesting, I should say, is we are going to use the slope-intercept form first. Remember how we learned that one in the previous section, where some teachers say plus c, some teachers say plus b, it doesn't really matter, but let's say we say plus c. What we've learned previously is that this part here is called the slope, or the gradient, if you would like, and then this part is the y-intercept. So they've given us the y-intercept and they've given us the slope, so what we'll do is we'll just make use of that. Whoops, that's a minus two. So that's not standard form, that's called slope-intercept form, which we've seen before. Now, and then what we'll do is we'll take the x's and the y's to the left-hand side, Okay, so we're gonna take the x's and the y's to the left, so the x will become negative. I'm gonna put that one first. So that's gonna be negative 4x, because it's going over to the other side. Here we just have a y, so that'll just be plus y equals negative two. Now, that's almost standard form, but we want the a to be positive. Now, the a is the one that goes with x. So to do that, we will divide everything by negative one. So we're gonna divide everything by negative one, and what that'll do is it'll just get rid of the negative and the negative over here, which will make that a positive. Here we have a positive divided by negative, which is a negative. And then here we have a negative divided by a negative, which is a positive. And that is standard form. There's no fractions. X and Y on the left. X is positive, And the other numbers on the right. Let's do some more examples now. So here we start with slope-intercept form, because they've given us the slope and they've given us the intercept. So we'll just go fill that in quickly, like that. Then we just move the x over to the left-hand side with the y, and that's it. That's standard form, because x is positive, so we don't need to make any changes there. The x and y are on the left together, and the other numbers on the right. And here's our last example for this video. So we'll start with uh, slope-intercept form once again. Remember, this can be a B or a C. I've seen some schools use B, some use C. And then we all go fill in our slope, which is 5. And then all we do is we take the x to the left, so it becomes negative. But now we're not allowed to leave the negative. Uh, in front of the x. The x must be a positive. So to do that, we'll just divide everything by negative 1. So that'll cancel out over there. So you end up with positive 5x. And then negative y, because a positive and a negative is a negative. And then on this side, you would end up with um, a positive, because a negative divided by a negative is a positive, And that would be your answer for that one over there.